Hi, I'm Mike Lee, CEO and co-founder of Fundica. At Fundica, we license funding search technology that enables entrepreneurs to find, organize, and apply for the most relevant government funding. Today, we're going to talk about funding innovation and very lucky to have a guest with us, Noah Redler, longtime friend and important member of the ecosystem here in, in Montreal, Canada. Yeah, nice to see you, Mike. And so my name is Noah Redler. I'm the founder and president of a company called Ash Innovation. We work with public, private, and academic uh, clients to help them define and plan out their innovation strategy. So that's what we do. Great. So, you no, know, if we kind of look at it for the SME, kind of going through the whole funding process. For sure. Innovation. You know, innovation often gets pushed out as this magic word that, you know, it's going to solve all our problems, it's going to make our operations cheaper, it's going to make everything better all around. But at the end of the day, we always have to remember that innovation is an investment. It's something that we have to prepare, it's something that we have to plan, and that's something that we have to make a part of our business decisions. I have clients coming to me all the time saying, I need a technology or a solution that's going to solve my problems and I need it tomorrow. But most technologies require time, energy, and effort to come bring to life and also to implement in your organization. Take artificial intelligence as an example. It is not a plug and play solution. You have to invest in the algorithm, in the software. You have to invest in organizing your data. You have to invest in training your team and you have to invest in adapting your operations. All of this comes at a cost and you have to look at it like any other business decision. How much am I going to put in? How much time is it going to take? And what are my expected returns on investment? And so if you're going in and you're planning any kind of innovation project, whether it's to solve an internal problem, develop a new product, develop a new service, or just think about preparing your organization for the future, remember that you're going to have to put some money out into the world before that return on investment comes back to you. So you really have to look at any type of innovation project, like any other project whatsoever, where you plan it, you plan to implement, and of course, you're budgeting it. And when you budget it, you have to think about where's that money come from. So asking you, Mike, for a small and medium business or for any business whatsoever, how can they be a little bit more proactive in planning their funding strategy when it comes to an innovation project? What I see very important is, and I think it's perhaps the most important, especially for an entrepreneur just starting out, is in that kind of pre-funding phase, really make sure there's product market fit. And there's so many tools available today to ensure that. So, you know, using the internet and even using things outside the internet, just kind of validating that the product has a market um, and, and trying to understand this, not just with your closest friends, but really with potential clients out there. The second thing is to build a bit of a team. Third thing, you need a little bit of money to actually get money. It's kind of a little sure. thing that people don't like to talk about, but you need a little bit of money. So. You may need one of the team members to actually be working part time. You may have some love money. You may have money coming from other places. Um, you need some kind of money. And then you go through the actual funding. And the first place to look is really government funding. Then you'd go into uh, loans if that's applicable. And then finally, and if you, only if you need it, really equity VC funding. So those kind of steps I think are very important on top of kind of what you mentioned in terms of planning that the whole process and being ready to invest. No, it's really interesting and I like how you presented it in different steps that you need to take along the way because every time we work on any project, there's steps that we have to follow, things we have to take into consideration. And, you know, when we want to start an innovation project, we don't really always know where to look. Our first instinct tends to be, well, who's the investor? Where's the bank? But when working with a tool like Fundica, we can really find all the different sources of, the, of funding that could be applicable to us just with a few clicks of a button. So let's say I was working on a project to bring AI into my business. How could Fundica help me? Right. So really the place where funding could come is at the very beginning where it will help you identify the most relevant funding. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's to start with government funding, uh, depending on how we've rolled up the platform, there's other types of funding as well, but it will really help you identify that and not just go out there and get all the sources available, but put them in a relevancy order. So you know which ones to look at first based on your profile mm -hmm. and based on your needs. So yeah, that's how a bill would fit in. So at the very beginning of that kind of funding search. Yeah, and like where to start is really the most important time because if we can't find the funding to get our project off the ground, it, we lose motivation very quickly. There's so much information out there, but it's disorganized. It's hard to know what is applicable to me. And I don't have a lot of time to look off all these websites and you know, neither do my clients. And so that's what I really appreciate about what you offer. Right. Uh, and Noah, on your side, 
so what do you see? So you help a lot of different ecosystems develop you know, structure and, and kind of put into place things that will help with innovation for the small and medium sized business. What kind of things are missing? What kind of resources are missing out there for the small and medium sized business? You know, it's a great question. And I think that, especially when it comes to innovation, it has a lot to do with expertise, equipment, and resources. And, you know, businesses are very good at what they do. That's why they're in business. That's why the, how they continue to make money and continue to operate. But when we're asking them to do something different, that's outside of their skill set, outside of their expertise, well, we need to go outside of our standard model. We need to start funding things that we don't fully understand. And to do that, it's best to surround ourselves by people who know what they're talking about, people who can guide us, people who can tell us what the first, real first step is. And that's what the ecosystem is all about. The ecosystem is about having those trusted actors around you that you can call upon and help you in your innovation project. The catch to that is, is that these are consultants, these might be lawyers, they might be accountants, they might be engineers, and they most likely want to get paid for their time and energy that they're investing in helping you out. Maybe they'll help for a little a little bit, give you a little advice for free, but when it comes down to practical work, uh, eventually you're going to have to pay for that intelligence, eventually you're going to have to pay for those resources nothing really comes through free at the end of the day. And it doesn't have to be millions of dollars, it could be a few thousand, but why shouldn't you go and get access to all the wealth of different funding programs that we have in Quebec, that we have in Canada that are available to us? You don't need to make this investment on your own, there's help out there. And the ecosystem can help us find these sources, can help, uh, help us drive our project forward, but it always starts by knowing how to pay for it. Right, right, okay. So on the funding side, there's lots of resources through Fundica, they can go find out, okay, what grants are available to hire their first employees, yeah. what's available to export for marketing, things like that, if they want to buy equipment, if they want to take on a big project loan. So these are all kind of funding kind of resources. On the side of that, there's kind of the, the individuals we talked about, the kind of advisors and the like. Um, any, any other tips around which one to go get first or how to get them efficiently or you know, what you've seen that... Well, obviously you want to consult in like Arch Innovation around you, I mean, that's clear. Uh, right. But really you have, like when you're looking for whose help you need, you have to take the time to do some introspection. You have to really take the time to say, this is what I do well internally. This is the knowledge I have. These are the decisions I can make with confidence. But for any subject outside of your realm of expertise, it's probably best not to do a guessing game. It's probably best to go and at least start off with somebody who can orient you around the subject. Like any good investor, you don't invest in things you don't know. Mm -hmm. And like any good innovation project, you want to learn about that project. You want to learn about yourself. Not only what can you do, but what is the impact of this change going to be on you? And like you were saying about finding funding from the get-go, there's different resources you need at different stages of your process. Right. And knowing how to go out and find them and knowing which are the right ones to go get when, that takes a little bit of experience and you might want to call a friend before you just launch into the adventure. Okay, okay, great. So any last words of advice for entrepreneurs out there? I would say that you are, if you're in Quebec or if you're in Canada, you're living in one of the best territories in the world to develop an innovation project. We have a multitude of funding sources available to us. Go on to Fundica, find the ones that are right for you. But we're also the right size for innovation. Canada is a big country in a big territory with a small population. And that gives us the ability to test, to really try things on a smaller scale before we scale them. So we are the ultimate destination globally, in my mind, to build and develop new technologies. And to do that, you need to have around you the right resources. We have them here in Quebec. We have all the right expertise. And you need people to guide you. We have that all over Canada, people who can help you get to the next steps. And of course, you need to think about how you're going to pay for all this transformation. And so you got Fundica, and that's really going to help you along your adventure. So I guess the last words are, if you have been holding back on doing a project that you think is going to help your business, if you want to innovate but you don't know how, call somebody to get started, start thinking about what you want to achieve and what your investment is going to be. And the rest, uh, for the rest, there's resources to help you. And uh, I'll send you the, last, the same question, Mike. Any last words? Last words. So I think a lot of things we covered. So follow the careful pre-funding and funding steps. Um, make sure you really identify the best funding sources when you're going for the funding.
validate those, make sure you really understand what they're about and just don't jump right into the application. If you do the application or the pitch, make it killer. Go for it, you know, win it. it it's, it's worth going that extra mile once you have the right ones. Um, and then, you know, get the right people around you. For sure. Uh, to kind of carry out this project, not only for it to be, you know, a good ROI, but also, um, yeah, so that you have the people you want to be building it with, you kind of have a fun time doing it. So I think that's actually part of everything we do as well. So, you know, if someone wants to reach out to you, how would they best get a hold of you? Uh, you can always reach out to me at noah at uh, uh I answer my emails as quickly as possible, but always happy to receive them. All right. Okay. And you, Mike? Well, me, so mlee at fundica.com. And uh, yeah, always a pleasure to kind of interact with the community. Great talking to you today, Mike. Nice talking to you, Noah. Thank you. Pleasure.